What are you gonna say to her? God damn it! Now you should leave with a joke. You know, something tasteful, but it also alludes to her pussy. One of the strangest scenes that fans have been wondering about in Joker is the moment when Arthur Fleck climbs inside his fridge and shuts the door. This fridge moment wasn't actually in the script for Joker, but was improvised on set by Phoenix. Cinematographer Lawrence Scher explained that certain scenes in the movie had no plan at all and were instead set up to allow Phoenix to experiment. <laughs> he also improvised Fleck's dance in a bathroom, as well as parts of a scene during which he fires a gun into a wall inside his apartment. In Batman vs. Superman, Batman's reaction to seeing Doomsday is one of his most human lines in the DC Extended Universe, and was also entirely improvised. Oh, shit. In Deadpool, when Wade goes to Weasel for help and when Weasel sees his face, he lets loose a series of increasingly absurd and dirty one-liners about how Wade now looks. It turns out that those descriptions were largely improvised by Miller. You look like an avocado. Had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. You only have one course of action. Damn straight. Dark Francis. horror films. While a number of the improvised lines did make the final cut, some lines were so bad that Fox strictly told them not to talk about it. Because you look like Freddy Krueger face fucking topographical map of Utah. Zachary Levi, who plays Shazam in the titular DC movie, is one of the funnier actors out there, and he really got to show off his comedy skills in the film. I'm floating! For example, in the scene where he first fights Dr. Savannah, he improvises a bunch of funny lines that weren't in the script. The crew was cracking up, and the scene was a huge success. Get him back, man. In the script for Iron Man, S.H.I.E.L.D. develops the cover-up that the guy in the suit is Tony Stark's bodyguard. This is true in the original Iron Man comics, but Downey, being the real-life Stark, decided to switch things up. The truth is, I am Iron Man. These four words set the tone for the whole MCU. The way they build characters in the MCU all goes back to this one moment where they threw the rulebook out the window. Think about it. There could have been alternate universes where they played it safe and stuck to the original script, and Iron Man would have ended up being just another forgotten comic book movie. The truth is, I am Iron Man. In 2021, Henry Cavill appeared for an interview with The Hollywood Reporter and explained that the scene where he screams after General Zod's death in Man of Steel was not part of the script. This scene sparked a lot of debates on social media. It was Cavill's first time portraying the iconic DC character and undoubtedly he gave his best. Did you know Michael Keaton ad-libbed the now iconic introductory line, I'm Batman, instead of the scripted line, I am the Knight, in the 1989 Batman movie because he thought the line was too corny? What are you? I'm Batman. While shooting the bridge fight scene in Thor Ragnarok, Tom Hiddleston flips two knives at once in a sequence that has become memorable to fans. Hiddleston revealed Loki's knife flip was a complete accident. He said the camera was still rolling, and he didn't want to just be standing there like a lemon, so he just flipped the knives and caught them by chance. Some Marvel fans would argue that Thor Ragnarok isn't the best of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, despite being a pretty fun ride. But there's one scene that made it to the top of the most hilarious MCU moments. I am talking about this iconic get help scene. Hey, let's do get help. No. Come on, you love it. I hate it. It's great. It works every time. It's humiliating. Do you have a better plan? No. We're doing it. And apparently, this scene was completely improvised by Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston, who were told to just wing it, and came up with one of the funniest Marvel moments we've ever seen on the big screen. Get help! Please! My brother's dying! Get help! Help him! A classic. Before the epic showdown, Peter Quill tries to hype up his friends to take on Ronan. As each buddy pledges their commitment, they dramatically stand up until Rocket concludes the scene with an unplanned, perfectly delivered one-liner. Now I'm standing. You all happy? Bunch of jackasses standing in a circle. Apparently, the line wasn't originally in the script. Director James Gunn liked the line so much that he added it to the script and got Bradley Cooper to record it when he was voicing the character. We're all standing up now. 
Bunch of jackasses standing in a circle. In Venom, Tom Hardy improvised the funny moment where Eddie Brock climbs into the lobster tank. It originally wasn't in the script, but when he saw the tank on set, he told the director that he wanted to include it in the scene. When Andrew Spider-Man first meets MJ and Ned, the pair is shocked to the core and quickly needs to find a way to prove Andrew's Spider-Man is the real deal and not just bluffing. To do so, MJ resorts to the most obvious choice, throwing a loaf of bread at him to see if his spidey sense kicks in. Why'd you do that? In the original script, MJ was meant to threaten Andrew Garfield with a candlestick, but she chose to throw the bread instead. Crawl around. No. Yes, crawl around. Why do I need to crawl around? Do it. Let's fucking go! On delay, on delay, you big silver sex toy! Ryan Reynolds improvised a significant number of his lines in the Deadpool movies. In many scenes, there are at least one or two lines that go differently. Reynolds likely came up with some of these on the spot, and others were dubbed in later. Watch your hair on the way out, sweetie. It's low clearance. Yeah, I didn't know Miley Cyrus joined the cure, huh? The little one looked like Justin Bieber face fucked Miley Cyrus's haircut. If there's one unscripted moment we're most thankful for, it's probably the one in this Thor scene. Thor descends to Earth with very little knowledge of humans or human life, and this obviously includes coffee. Drink, I like it. I know, that's great, right? Another! It was actually the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, who loved the unscripted moment and requested the directors keep it in the film. Drink, I like it. I know, that's great, right? Another! <laughs> Did you know Hugh Jackman was the first to curse in any of the MCU movies? Go fuck yourself. Jackman talked about how he was invited to show up for the shoot of X-Men First Class as Wolverine. He used eight takes to try to get his line right. The line was originally, fuck off, but on the eighth take, Jackman improvised by saying, Excuse me, I'm Eric Lynch. Charles Xavier. Go fuck yourself. While many of the Robert Downey Jr. moments in the MCU may seem scripted, he sure improvises a lot. In this scene, Tony Stark is having a little talk with Peter Parker, but Tom Holland forgot he was supposed to move over and let Tony sit next to him. Instead of breaking character and stopping the cameras, Robert just casually told him, I'm gonna sit here so you move the leg. <sighs> Doctor Strange is one of the more spiritual Marvel movies, but that doesn't mean it can't be funny just like the rest of them. When Benedict Cumberbatch shot this scene with Benedict Wong, he let something slip that wasn't in the script. What do you want, Strange? Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. When Wong tells him he isn't ready for astral projection, he was supposed to say try me, but instead added Beyonce as a reference to her song lyrics, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. This ended up in the film, and we're super glad it did. Try me, Beyonce. Come on, you've heard of her. She's a huge star, right? The moment where Tony calls Captain America liar at the beginning of Endgame was improvised by RDJ. For you, Cap, I got no coordinates, no clues, no strategies, no options, zero, zip, nada, no trust, liar. It sure is one of the best scenes in the film with an incredible performance from Downey, as if he had taken the full weight off his back by the events of Age of Ultron and Civil War. No trust. Although the original Eternal script didn't include the budding romance between Makari and Druig, the director asked Lauren Ridloff and Barry Keoghan to add it after seeing the sparks that flew between them the first time they improvised together. I'll be seeing you again. Where? Huh? Where will you be seeing me again? Like, in general, I'll see, like, the next time you do something bad, I'll be there to oh, catch you. Type. You'll be watching in that room. Yeah, to, yeah to, how you were inviting me somewhere. 